Welcome to IAG. I'm Laura. Oh. <laughs> wow. Stealing the entry? That's good. You did. That's pretty good. You for, you missed the in the kiss room part, but that you know, <laughs> not everybody can do it right the first time, mm. or like that's like your fourth time. You still didn't get it right, but that's good. I'm Rick. I'm Lara. <laughs> <laughs> and in the background, as always, we have our tech guy and Laura's husband, KS. Howdy. All around the uh, guru of the podcast. And my <laughs> lovely wife, GS. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the kiss room. It's our greeting. I said that. Already. We're Did in the you? Kiss room. Yeah. Not everybody, you know, caught that the first time around. So tonight I'm back to drinking old fashions. Please, please refer to the previous episode. Too many of these will fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that. And too many of these will fuck you up. You really were because... drinking old fashions before? That was his drink of choice. I mean, if you watched if the, you a watched podcast, the you podcast, you might actually yeah. know what people are drinking every did you for, did you forget about rick's rant last last episode i'm not even sure what my rant was last episode oh, <laughs> what was my rant the last episode it was about people who don't watch the podcast <laughs> i thought that was gs's rant oh no. no 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 that was my last it was about the two of you yahoos that don't watch <laughs> it and don't know what's going on all right well so I what you got for us them. today Mr. Rick? Oh, I have nothing. <laughs> really? I'm re- relying on you. There's been quite a lot that's happened. There was a death in the country music scene. Yeah. Oh, God. Toby Keith. Oh, God. Yeah. I totally thought that's exactly what you were talking about. Well, I forgot about it. Um, the night that, or the day that he died, that night I came down here and Listen to everything. Listen to well, I only have two. I have his greatest hits one and two, so I listen to those as a tribute to Toby Keith. And then um, there is something I wanted to follow up with. However, the original conversation did not happen on camera. That's all about Toby Keith. Well, I don't. I know he's a country (laughs) music singer. That's about all we know. (laughs) I know he was really popular. I'm sure if I listened to the greatest hits soundtrack, I'd know a couple songs. And And, and he died of stomach cancer. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Was he young? Not. Yeah, he was young. young. Well, young enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's young. Um, If you heard his songs, you'd definitely know quite a few because they've been in. (laughs) <laughs> okay <laughs> his songs have been in a lot of commercials um, he was very patriotic and um, very uh, country what do you call it I don't uh, know what supported you're going the, for. supported the troops oh the veteran or yeah, yeah. troops and veterans yeah, yeah. country all around country guy yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so to Toby Keith. To Toby Keith. <laughs> I hadn't heard of him until he died, so there you um, go. Wow. <laughs> There's also something, yeah. Wow. <laughs> He's a little bit of a music snob who doesn't like anything country. No, no oh, that's I, not I, true. That's he likes Highwaymen. I do, and I like uh, I like a lot of the uh, guys originally from Highwaymen, except for... Willie Nelson is amazing, don't you? No, I wasn't talking about Willie Nelson. Um Johnny Cash. I'm not a huge Johnny Cash fan. Wow. He's super overrated and very monotone. Up together. That's I'm just kidding. Monotone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And Frank Zappa said it best once oh, you when know. he said... Keep it greasy. Same, Wait, what does it say? Keep it greasy, verse. go down easy? Yeah. What does Zappa no, say? Yeah. But you, you love Johnny Cash, don't you? I do love Johnny Cash. And let me tell you, husband, how mm. do I feel about Frank Zappa? She doesn't like Frank Zappa. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I mean, he is, he does, he's, so have, versatile. he's got talent, he's got talent, however, um, he's just unique, and I usually can appreciate unique people, but he's disgusting. <laughs> well, I don't understand disgusting. why you say he's disgusting, though. I don't know. Hmm. Why, because of that picture of him on a toilet? No, I actually secretly love that, po- oh, okay. that picture. Have you ever seen that poster? Him on the yeah. toilet flipping people off? You would enjoy it. It's your favorite thing ever, where he goes like this. 
Huge fan. Of but he's very political too. So yeah. I'm gonna transition back to the original. There's um, there was some celebration in the news, music news recently. What? <laughs> you got me nothing? Now. You don't know anything? <laughs> no, I don't. About any good about. news, maybe? There's a 50 year reunion that recently happened. No? <laughs> you what lost. you're talking about. 50 year reunion of. So, Paul McCartney okay. had a bass that went missing. It was um, a 1961 Hofner bass. Oh, yeah. It's a violin bass. Hmm. And. I, somebody stole it after, right after they wrote the letter B. Oh. And it was missing. <clears throat> um, yeah, and they recently found it and it was reunited with them. And it's a crazy yeah. story. But apparently, they don't know who, the original thief didn't come clean. But in what year? Hold on, I have to check. They find out. it at like a pawn shop or something? So. Apparently, there's music investigators. There's an uh, investigative journalists that are specific in music where, like, when Slash lost his hat, they go and look into things like that. Well, how the fuck do I get that job? <laughs> <laughs> Scott and Naomi Jones were the investigative journalists that hmm. um, were looking into this. And they worked with Nick Waz, who then they formed this the Missing Base website and... I guess because of the website, there there was questions going around, and they found out that in 1972, so two years after it was stolen, it was passed down in a pub and sold for a couple pints and what do they call their money? Hold on, pounds. 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 Yeah, a couple pints and a couple pounds. So a couple beers, a couple bucks, and walked out hmm. with that amazing face. <laughs> And then the original family got passed down to their kid, and when the questions started to go around, they felt really guilty. The kid said he felt really guilty, so he just gave wow. it back to him. And here it was only like 10 minutes from where Paul lives. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The whole 50 years. <laughs> well, I did not hear about that, but I will tell you that if there's openings for that job, <laughs> I'll definitely be applying for that, because I think I could do a pretty good job at finding... I mean, the, well, you always hear about, there's all kinds of stories about, like, musicians' instruments getting stolen. Zach Wilde, there was something in the news, I think last year, that he got some guitar back that was stolen, uh -huh. and they found it in a pawn shop. And hmm. Well, it's not even their stuff that gets stolen. Think about the story that was out a couple of years ago with Courtney Love, where... Uh, her daughter was dating somebody and one of Kurt Cobain's guitars went to him and then Courtney got caught trying to hire a hitman to kill oh the kid God. to get the guitar oh my back. Goodness. Oh, she's a lunatic. I can't stand her. I understand. Did I mention I can't stand her? I mean, I do like two albums. No. Garbage. Nah. nah. Doll Parts garbage. was a great album. No. If you were a female oh, teen in the 90s, you absolutely could respect all parts. Absolutely not. Well, seeing as how, <laughs> <laughs> seeing as how I wasn't, uh, yeah, that's garbage. And I graduated in 93. GS was a teenager in the 90s. And I was garbage. a teenager in late the 90s. 90s. I was I don't a teenager know. in the late 90s. <laughs> What year did Doll Parts come out for? Uh, probably 96. You have a computer. You're the only one that's allowed to look. Fact checker. I will have to check. Fact checker. It's garbage anyway. Garbage is a great brand. <laughs> no, they're not. Shirley Manson is an <laughs> awesome singer. Stop, stop, stop. Why are you telling me to stop? It's music I like. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm kidding. Calm down. You don't have to yell at me. <gasps> I didn't yell. Uh, 1994. <laughs> Very awkward. And which which and who wrote that album? Was it Cobain or was it the guy from? Uh, well, no, the, the guy, guy from, from Smashing Pumpkins Smashing wrote Pumpkin. celebrity album music from Celebrity Skin. Cause she didn't write a damn no, thing. No, but album. her. If you do the conspiracy deep dive into her, <laughs> I think it was her bassist, one of the or the guitar player that who also helped with the writing. But she, mm -hmm. she lost. It was either a bassist or a guitar player uh, in the original band. Oh. Like as in they were deceased. So, yeah. 
I was a. Uh, but yes, Billy Corrigan sophomore. did write part of the music for Celebrity Skin when that came out in the 2000s. Yeah, I think that was 2000 thinking? that that came out. I don't know. I you could check. Google it. Rick really loves talking about Corny Love and grunge music. I mean, it's not that I don't like talking about it. I just, I don't know anything about it because at that point in time. 98. 1998. I was close. 2000. Yeah. At that point in time, I mean, I was in my 20s. I really, really did not understand the whole like grunge Let's put fun? on flannel and pants that are six times too big for us. Like, it didn't make any sense to me. We'll have to throw a flash up of me with Jenko's on while hey. he says all that. It doesn't make it. It didn't make any sense. To me. I, I, I was it, listening to Yes Rush and Dream Theater, which is completely different. Yeah. All right. Well, if I we're mean, really yeah. gonna talk about where where we were in '95, I wasn't listening to it at that point. I was still watching Pocahontas and snuggling my teddy bear because I was young. <laughs> and I listened to a lot of Zeppelin. I mean, I keep forgetting. I, I did listen to a lot of Zeppelin and the Doors. I keep yeah. forgetting the fact that you're a baby, but. I mean, in the Almost late 40, na- in the late nineties, how old? Same thing. Weren't you a teenager in the late nineties? Or <laughs> she, no. as she takes a sip before she answers, I'm not answering. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah so you weren't a teenager in the nineties. I was an early twenties. I was a teenager in the late nineties. Early I think that you were. 99. <laughs> summer of 99 was the best sum- one of the best summers of my life. Pre- pre-marriage, uh, okay. kids type stuff. That's yeah. when we I, I, I got married. Yeah, 99. that's when we got married. And I, I, I was a hooligan causing <laughs> havoc hooligan. in Horrocksburg. <laughs> Listening to music that I don't understand. <laughs> exactly. Being that kid that you didn't understand. Because what you have to understand is that when, when we grew up, you know, music was it was like party time and everything was a party song mm-hmm. and then grunge hit and it's like that's because it was too much of a party. all of a sudden all people these, got sick of the party all these kids are like angry and depressed about god knows what i mean i don't know what the fuck you're depressed about. but yeah it wasn't good and the misogyny too got a little much. It did get a little. I much. need to take a time out here. Kumu is just barking relentlessly. That's cool. Okay, so all you gotta say is, can we take a break? We can take and a break. And we'll be We're back. back. So one thing I wanted to tell you was tell who? a few weeks ago we went to me? this place called it's the me. Rural Beer Company, right? Rural City. Right. <laughs> Rural City Beer Company. It's in Lancaster. In Lancaster. And it's Lancaster. Yeah. Why do you say it weird? It's not. There's not a can in there. We're not asking Lan- if Lan can. It's Lancaster. Lancaster. Not Lancaster. It's Lancaster. <laughs> I said Lancaster. <laughs> L-A-N. Lancaster. All right. Okay. Continue. Uh, so while we were there, Lancaster. I... Lancaster. 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 No. Lancaster. Jesus fucking. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Oh. I promised her I was going to stop cursing. While we were there, as I always do when we travel. Where were you? I found a... Uh, <laughs> In the writing area. <laughs> did you just snore no. on? The, the she did a, she wow. did a Chrissy. That was, that was a good one, too. That was that amplified. <laughs> um, so I found a record store, which... <laughs> here we go. <laughs> we'll edit this part out and wait till you're done. <laughs> Or not. (laughs) Or we'll just leave it in. (laughs) Sorry. Wow. So, I found this really awesome record store, although I can't remember the name of it. I don't either. I walked in, walked out. (laughs) This place was awesome. And it was massive. They have 
so much stuff. I yeah. honestly didn't it's even huge. get through the whole story because the place is massive. Where was that? I'm not being smart. Like what? Where mm. you were by a beer place? It was really close, like within five minutes of the, the the beer place, the brewery. Yeah. So the brewery, the brewery, we found at a. We went to one of these tastings at a mall mm-hmm. that they. There's actually been two of them recently that we went to. Mm-hmm. And they were there at the last one. And we tried some of their beer. And it, was it was pretty, pretty good. good. And then they gave us free chips beer, chips. beer chips to get a drink at their bar. Nice. And they have gluten-free beer. Oh. Yeah, they have gluten-free On beer. top. Nice. Right? Yeah. And we had food there that was good. Mm-hmm. What did you have to eat? What did I have? I don't even remember. I honestly don't even remember. It was good. It was really good. I'm going to look it up. I know. I'll tell you. And then, weren't you at another place too? Something acorn? What about my acorns? Oh, my. (laughs) Hanging from the tree. Really? Where where were we, honey? That has. No, last weekend we were at. the winery right here in Northampton. Oh. There's a winery in Northampton? Yeah. Well, ish. It's right off of so, Cherryville Road. So you go out Cherryville Road and turn left on Blue Mountain. Okay. And it's literally right there. It's called Soaked. And most of their wine, there's a few that we How don't How far do you like. have to drive when you make that left? Like, is it's, it for a it's while? literally right there. I've passed it probably a thousand times. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yes. You a, will see it and you will be like, oh my God, I've passed this all the time. Maybe 500 feet after you yeah. <laughs> turn right what? or turn left. Um, they have really good food. They're, we didn't get their pizza. But we're going to get it the mm. next time. Mm-hmm. But we did mm-hmm. walk in and see other people eating pizza there. And apparently, I mean, it looks really good. And they have a gluten free crust. Yeah. They have a gluten free pizza. And they had gluten free crackers, which like no wineries around here yeah. offer gluten free crackers. So it was so quite when, fabulous. When we went there, we got a, a cheese board, mm-hmm. and we got they have a pepper, In, like a cherry like right pepper off of cherry pepper. Pepper. Yes, I'm telling yeah. you, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh. The shocking part is apparently it's been there for a while, <laughs> and yeah, I mean we've lived in Northampton now for. This is Almost the 19, 19 years. This is the 19th year. Yeah, we've been we, here, we, what, 10 years now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been but it's really I know, good. but you've been back now, what, 10 yeah. years? They also have, like, a, they they don't make beer there, but they have beer from, like, other local breweries that they sell. They have whiskeys, and they make mixed drinks, mm-hmm. and it's all local. What is with you tonight? <laughs> what are you laughing about? I fucking hate you so much. I'm sorry. I apologize. What is happening here? You're disrupting the podcast. <laughs> Acting like a nut. I'm so sorry. I was listening. I was. I, I, I have the really ability to were. listen to more than one conversation at a time. <laughs> Although that wasn't a conversation. That was with our eyes. And that was not professional. Stop it, husband. So I, I found I found the menu for a rural city. Okay. So you had the um, pretzel bites. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. They were so good. We'll continue on. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> and what else did you had? You said, "Oh God." <laughs> <laughs> they were the pretzel bites were really good. <laughs> And they bring it out with... See, now that, oh, God, made it sound like it was, like, the worst decision of your life. No, I'm asking, I'm saying that about you two. Giggling at each other. I I meant him, because you said pretzel bites. He's like, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. oh. They were so good. They come with a cheese sauce and a mustard that they bring out. Sometimes, like, they have... Wow, that's a weird way to say delicious. Don't remember. Oh, I think I had this. I had the Caesar salad, and then I think you had one of the sandwiches. I did have a sandwich. Um, spicy chicken, right? Yeah, sounds so Mm -hmm. good. All of that. Spicy chicken. How big was the salad? Was it a nice size? It was decent. Yeah. Yeah. 
They even have I'm a, a kids menu. Find the place and. Oh. I mean, yay! <laughs> 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 I thought that would be like an adult-only trip. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think you'd want to bring your kids there. There were people that did have their kids at that brewery. And yeah, I think they were celebrating a birthday. Yeah, they were obnoxious. We took Willow and... We were glad when they left. And the other one to a winery <laughs> up in Poconos. Well, the old men sitting next to us at the bar were more obnoxious with their watching videos on their oh, cell yeah. phone. Full there were two old guys Wait a second. Watching videos. What? What are you doing? What? Is that a Yeti? Yes. That fits a truly perfectly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I. You've had wow. one of the. I have one up. You've That's used one idea. before, you weirdo. I did. Uh, keeps you it did. cold. I'll when we break again. I'll I give you the really other one. I don't really remember using one. Did I use it? Did we talk about <laughs> yes. it? Yes. <laughs> we did. I'm starting to think I might have early all timers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. You don't count. I wasn't talking about me. Oh. So, going back to the old... <laughs> what happened? I missed that. What did he say? What did the two guys say? That I was missed a that. knock at you. <laughs> I missed it, too. I don't know. What did he say? Uh, you're going to have to watch the she video said, to find out. No, yeah. make him watch it to find out. <laughs> well, I watch all of them. I'm Do not you? you and GS. Oh, I I listen. watch all of our podcasts. I have to multiple times. I'm not Pieces. the two of you nuts. He edits it. On. Oh, I hit the mic. Am I going to be in trouble? That's not watching it. You have to physically sit and watch it so you know. It's watching pieces of it over and over no, and over and over That's not the again. same thing. If you watch it, you'll know what's going on on the podcast. Gotcha. So the old men at the bar. Oh, yeah. The sorry. The bar. Brewery. Watching a they video were... at full volume. What were they watching? About inappropriate things. They were, it was was it Kevin? Of... Was he there? Dirty old men. It must have no, been you. No, it was some Probably. kind of political thing. And must have they been had you. It, they had it turned up, like, all, like, their phone was blasting. And it was some of it very was, inappropriate. Like, there's no reason to do that, especially when there's a, if you're the only ones at the bar, fine. But, and this is not, this is not the first time we've encountered this. We've <clears throat> been at bars and people are talking on the phone, but loudly on the phone and he won't let me say anything to anybody that's not true because mm. at the no well that's not true the woman at the bar at copperhead i didn't care what you said to her okay but you wouldn't let me tell the old men to well, freaking knock it off uh, exactly because you are a baby <laughs> so <laughs> oh, they're old. they don't know any better they know better do it yeah, to old. make them just feel more uncomfortable than Ooh, what they're good, doing. That's that's, that's my method, yeah. right? Start throwing stuff at them, or no? You sit up next to them, turn your phone on real loud, and start watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they might the, join the, in. There was kids there though, so yeah. <laughs> that's well, probably not the best thing to do. I mean, politics, porn. Eh, I'll say. <laughs> Maybe somebody's getting fucked. Next time, that is true. We'll, mm -hmm. maybe we'll do that. We'll see. You won't. I mean, they appear to be regulars, so if we ever go back again. <laughs> well, we're definitely, just bring me. We're, we're, we're definitely going back because right. I need to go back to that record store. In Lancaster. Boy, amazing. Mm. Lancaster. <laughs> Lancaster. Lancaster. In the Reading area. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's Lancaster. But You're the uh, Amish. The Amish. Oh, All right. There. <laughs> Spelled Lancaster. It's L A N. K C. <laughs> Lancaster. If you pronounced it exactly the way it was spelled, you would say Lan Canster. How do you say it's knife? L A C A N. Love the canister. Can do you say Knobles? I say knife. That's how I say knife. Knife. That's a knife. I was asking him. Okay. Oh, um, <laughs> a knife is pronounced knife. 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 Knobles is Knobles. Right? Nobles. It's not called Nobles. I always thought it was Nobles as well Knobles. until I heard yeah, other people nobles. say Knobles. And I'm like, wait, yeah. what? I thought it's the K was silent. They, they have 
they have commercials you can probably find on YouTube. That say Kada Kada Kafan Kanovals. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? DNA scoop mound. I mean, that's not an excuse for not being able to pronounce things properly. You're the one that doesn't know how to pronounce things. Lancaster. It's Lancaster. No, nope. why you gotta get in on this? <laughs> You're from. You didn't. You just five minutes ago say you like because born, bred, found Northampton. Yeah, in yeah. Northampton yeah. Uh, Lancaster. That's why we call Bethlehem. Bethlehem, not Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Mm-hmm. We call it Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Uh, well, I was born and raised in Bethlehem, and I don't <laughs> call it Bethlehem. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's because you're not from Northampton. You don't understand. Call it Bethlehem, but it's because you're not from Northampton. You don't understand. <laughs> no, because there's people that that live in Bethlehem that call it Bethlehem. Yeah. Everywhere has their thing. Well, just... People like to be in lazy. In Shenandoah, the trees are between the two and the four. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that was funny. I don't even know what that means. One, two, tree. No, well, I do say tree, oh, yeah. but that's just to be funny. That wasn't a knock at you. I know. Okay. I'm just saying. Knock three times. On the so, what else would you like to talk about? Do you have more notes of things to talk about? Why do you always rely on me to bring the content? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do the same thing. Mother Truckers. Oh. I can yell at him. <laughs> Because Sorry. I don't, I mean, I don't really have anything to talk about. Mm-hmm. So. Buttons, rips, and tears, sir. Um, I am so. going to see the Black Crows. Um, I love that. how he says, I am. Like, I'm not going. To, we're going to the same well, concert, not but together, not together. Right? <laughs> but a friend of mine got My husband tickets got me tickets. See the Black Crows, the Wind Creek. Casino. In, in Bethlehem. <laughs> and is that in... South Bethlehem. May? Uh, April? May. April? May 5th. Oh, okay, May. if May. we... May hold on, can we pause? Help? Can we pause? He wants to yell at me about me watching the podcast, but I recall a previous hmm. podcast where we talked about this, and I have said... We couldn't have talked about it. It's near my birthday. happened. No, we've had this conversation. Because yeah. it's... The Definitely concert not. is absolutely near my birthday. I have May 3rd. Let me look up one quick. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure that we talked about I know it's a Friday, and I'm pretty sure it's May 5th. No, it's not. So I'm very excited about it's the Black Crows because... Be I've careful, because never... the, one of them is the Philadelphia show, either the 3rd uh, or the 5th. I'm not sure hold. which one. Hold, please. I've never seen the Black Crows, and... I have. I love the Black Crows. I have every album... They've ever come out with. You know, yeah, my favorite third, is Friday the third. The album by your side. We've Fantastic. talked about this already. No, I will say this. You know, you said you haven't seen them. I haven't. I'm pretty excited for it. Kevin said he, it's the second time. I heard. It's twice well, as well, I, I twice saw as them hard. back in the '90s. That was a long time ago. They You've were never really seen young. them. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited. Me too. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Yeah. Who are you going with? Joe. Just Joe. Just Joe. The triple J. Joe. So, just Joe. So you say that and I want to start singing Fat Joe songs. There's the whole story. I don't story want to be a player no more. Fat Joe. We can't Not a player, I just crush there. a lot. Never heard of it. <gasps> really? Huh. Was that me? Yes, that was you. What are you doing, tech guy? I was just yeah, looking up at their discography. And? Um, their first two albums are their best. <laughs> and no. the names of those albums would be? I no. Shake Your Money Maker and Southern Harbor Music. No, By Your Side is their best album. Mm, well, I, that, I'm not familiar fun. with that word. <laughs> That's um, a great but based album. on based on chart rankings, the first two albums are their best. <laughs> Oh wow! That makes sense. Damn. So why do you yeah. why do you feel that album's the best? I don't know. I just I like every song is really good. Gotcha. Well, it's a personal Fantastic. preference. Yeah. Yeah. Personal preference. I mean, I like all their albums, but that one I just think is their 
Nice. I'm surprised in the U.S. Southern Harmony and Music went to number one, and Shake Your Money only went to number four. See, I thought it would have been the other way around. Hmm. Canada went to number two. So, to transition into a different topic. Well. Oh, were we not done? No, we're done, but hold on a second. Do you have another topic that we can actually discuss? Before we do that, you have to pee. I gotta take a Yeah, my god. <laughs> so we'll be back. And we'll be back. After every <laughs> single time I do I something, like, a, he really does. It's he kind cri- of he critiques a lot, doesn't because he? How do you live with the, that? This is how, because the or this is what the critic. If that's you his new actually the went critic. back and watch again, we've talked about this like ten times. If you watch <laughs> the podcast, you there's a way we come back, and that's not it. how we do it. <laughs> Why does it have to always be your way? That's not the yeah, way Rick. I do it. This is it's how our, do it. it's our way. <laughs> what your way is our way? No, we've always done it that way. <laughs> You've always Which done way? it that way. <laughs> well, then maybe I should do it from now on. <laughs> your way or the highway? Hmm? <laughs> and, and we're back. All right. <laughs> 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 and we're back. Not how the- <laughs> <laughs> and Rick's controlling. Oh. Well, I mean, you got to be consistent. And- Do you? Why? Who says you have to be consistent? I mean, people should like that. Are there say- rules? I mean, what people? <laughs> our followers. I the think we need that to know if you're pro. Get a, a poll from our viewers. We need a we need a poll from our viewers. Would you rather us, we're idiots hear, with microphones? We've already heard the poll. No clowns with microphones. <laughs> Would you rather hear and we're back or and we're back? I don't do and it. We're back. On command. And we're back. I can't even do it. And we're back. Okay. Well, obviously you can it's never be Vanna White. Delicate. So <laughs> there you go, Vanna White. So anyway. Anyway. Since we're talking about how I've taught you things and educated you on things. When were we talking about that? <laughs> Is that what we're talking about? No, no. All right. I want to go back to concerts that we're both going to, right? Um, There is another concert that's going happening in Hershey in 2024 that I think you might be interested in. Mm. Mm, I don't really go to Hershey that much. I think you might be interested in I think before you make a decision, you should tell me and ask me who it is. (laughs) Who's coming to Hershey? Beth Hart. Oh. Mm. Who's Um, Beth Hart, Rick? I know who she is. I actually, oh, I know you know who she is because I... Y- you did teach me oh, who no. Beth Hart is. I have yet Wait, to could get... you repeat that <laughs> sentence for me just a little bit louder and slower? I have yet to get No, 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 the one her... before that one. You, <laughs> I think it started, yet? you did no, teach me. I'm sure you we're... have every album by now. You... I actually don't. I haven't bought Wait, any of Wait, he albums didn't yet, repeat the sentence yet. We're moving past that. We're not. <laughs> we're, you, you can rewind You did teach the... me. Everybody heard it. You can you rewind the You should start with the, the Joe Bonamassa podcast. albums. Really? You yes. can rewind the podcast and listen to it over Does and over again. Does he know who Joe Bonamassa like. is? Yeah, we discussed this before. Not in the podcast, yeah. but it was, it was the after party. So I don't have her albums yet, but I... Do have her on my She's list amazing. of things to get. Would you go to Hershey to see her? Um. What about a party bus? I mean, Hershey's kind of far. Well, you That's had. What, what about a party? No, bus? it's not that it's far. It's, it's the one, same it, Yes, it is to far. Filling. However, you've only had bad experiences yeah. going to concerts in Hershey. That's because leaving that venue is atrocious. No, nightmare. that has nothing to do with it. Oh. <laughs> well, if you get if you get a driver, Getting then there. you don't have to worry about it. Um. What do you mean it's getting there? That's what I'm saying. Get a driver. No, no, no. no. I want to hear the story. Of... What, what, what happened? That you well, he had an issue once. I'm trying, trying to think Should of we the... talk about it already? Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. Okay. There are two specifically that I can think I'm of. I'm trying to think of the last... I actually think <clears throat> the last time I was there, we saw Kiss. So that Correct. was uneventful as far as we didn't have any problems. But Correct. Prior to that, well, but we've hold had on. some... 
pretty bad experiences but going through. Let's just like go back though to the Kiss concert because that's when Aerosmith played too. No, we saw Kiss and Hershey twice. I remember. Oh, the okay. But yeah. then there was also the show where Aerosmith played and they were absolutely horrendous yeah. and that was just a yeah, crap that's show. Why I remember the but I'm sorry, go ahead. Continue on. Because Aerosmith with the other could never story. be horrendous. Apparently they were. Shh. I know, but that's why I remember well, they the conversation. Did a lot of drugs, okay. so, you know how that goes. Yeah. It, when the entire stadium is booing them, I, as that's why leaving, I said I suppressed the soul memory. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry. You might be an Aerosmith you should fan. It's Joey Kramer's fault. And I, I do obviously. like Aerosmith. I own all we their do. albums. We do. Yeah, we both love Aerosmith. Unfortunately, that <gasps> show was not. That good. show was just suppressing. awful. Yeah, suppressing. So there's been a few bad experiences at Hershey. That was one. The other one would have been. And I do think I talked about it on the podcast was in 1996. I went to see Ozzy. Yes, I remember now. We had some car trouble. And yes, I remember. Drink. Although there's, isn't there, wasn't there some discrepancy about the location of that conversation or of that? No, no, that no. was, that was the Allen Taffer. <laughs> <laughs> and for everybody watching, my uh, best friend Jim was supposed to be on the podcast this evening. He's sick. Um, he's the guy that texts me to tell me the things that I say wrong or don't remember correctly. I'm so happy I don't have any of those in my life. So maybe we'll get him on the next podcast. And I'm sure that he would be happy to correct mm -hmm. live, or not live, but on video, some of the things that I've... In person. So in person, right? Yeah. I also, things that I've stated incorrectly. Mm -hmm. I um I know you were kind enough and your sisters were awesome on the show and you've been bothering me about having my family on the show. I won't have my family on the show. However, <laughs> oh, we'll get your family on the, no. show, on the show. However, my sisters now want to do a sisters they should. two. They podcast. they were a blast. Mm -hmm. um, they watched the podcast <clears throat> and they Apparently love themselves, so they want to come back. <laughs> they were fun. They, they were a lot of another, fun. Another podcast. So. All the uh, Ricky stories. Oh. Not going to lie. Mm -hmm. They were great. However, so I won't have my family on. However, I will oh, have... We'll um, no. My f <laughs> I call her my forever friend. Uh, she's. We've talked about her before. Her name is Tanya. We've been friends since kindergarten, and she Aww. knows a, quite a lot about me, so... Is she coming on? She will be on. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Yeah. That's good. So feel free to, to grill her on any stories if you want. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens when she's here. She's my age, too, so you know. Young. So she's a baby, too. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> All right. So Beth Hart. <clears throat> so... Yes, the after party, we introduced Rick to Beth Hart. And when is this concert in Hershey? Um, I have to look at the date. Here um, we go. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean well, I mean, he can he, fact check. Fact he check, please. Know this already without pulling the phone out. You know, I fucking come with content. You come with nothing. Ooh. But I don't sit here looking at my phone. <laughs> I don't sit here looking at my phone. Uh-oh. <laughs> what does that do? And what are you going to do? Husband, what does it mean when I take my shoe off? <laughs> you know, I I do that to wow. my dog. Dude, all right. Boy. Last episode, <laughs> ugly. This episode, my feet stink. That's it. I mean, if they stink, you can leave they those things stink. on. They don't stink. No, they don't. I'm joking. He's the one with the stinky ass feet. No, I, I put deodorant on my feet. There you go. And my balls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love it. I Hand don't. Spray. Well, you listen, should. When, you should. When things, you need to accidentally turn off your mic now. <laughs> when you have things like feet and balls, Sticky balls, you have to, you know. Please see the self care <laughs> episode. Yeah. Did we talk about mm -hmm. in self care? Sticky we, balls, yeah. Think it, wait, think no, it, I think it was when one of your friends was over. We were talking about um. Oh, that was these my nuts. Friend, no, yeah. it wasn't these nuts, was it? What the hell is that called? The spray for your nuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were talking about the spray. There's for a spray. <laughs> there's a spray for your nuts, and there's a name for it. I forget yeah. what it is. Mando. 
refer to the episode with Jim uh, in it, which was called... <laughs> Do we know what that was? Called? I have no idea. Uh, cherry pie. Oh, cherry, cherry pie. pie. <laughs> <laughs> Refer to the cherry pie episode. We should for, have him back. He was for a good the, time. The ball spray. We'll he have, is we'll have ball Jim spray. And, yeah. We'll have Jim and Kim back. <laughs> they were fun. They were. Fun. <laughs> What's the music star? <laughs> so what else do you have? What do you have? What are you going to contribute to today? I brought a lot to the table. I brought the missing bass. I brought Beth Hart's concert. God, I don't have anything this time. Looks like it's going to be April 18th. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's going to be in Hershey in April 18th. I mean, I'm not too keen on going all the way down to Hershey. I love how you say all the way down. It's the same amount of distance as it is. It's the same time as it takes to get to Philly. I don't go there. Get a party bus. You don't go where? Where? <laughs> I got it. Philly. All right, I'll buy you a no. mother truck and party bus for the I don't want to go to Philly either to see concerts. I'm happiest when concerts are on his TV and his. Close, close. No. no, no, no. I love going to concerts. I hate the drive. I the only reason we don't that. like going to Philly is, it's not an issue of getting in getting to the shows. Out. It's getting out. Oh, I know. Yep. Well, do you like Camden better? No, it's even at Wood Creek. Creek. <laughs> That's why we always get the room because even when we went to see Matchbox Twenty, we were we were watching the traffic leave from our window. It was crazy. Uh, we haven't been to a show in Camden in years. In, honestly, I'm not oh, even sure. Man. Probably last twenty years. Wow. Ozfest, yeah. I think, was the last one I went to in Camden, and then I used to go. Well, actually, that might have been hours. ours as well. We saw Ozzy in Camden when Rob Zombie was with them. Okay, I mean, they're talking about OzFest. We've never seen Ozzy and Camden. Oh, I thought that we... D- no, we did. We did not. Mm. <laughs> We've never seen Ozzy and Camden. Okay. Disagree, but okay. <laughs> We've never seen Ozzy and Camden. That's okay. just... She, GS is too tired to prove that she's right, but I'm going to go with she's probably There is right. a possibility that the last show we saw in Camden may also have been Kiss. Where did it was Kiss either come from? Kiss or Poison. Well, she's talking about the last show we saw in Camden. No, 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 not the last show. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure we saw Ozzy in Camden at some point. Yeah, we've never seen him there. Okay. I disagree, but okay. Okay. Well, I, I have every concert ticket that we've ever gone to. We'll <laughs> pull them out and go through them. Oh, we'll you're see. so sentimental. <laughs> How do you keep the tickets you put on your phone now? Every time I buy a ticket now, it goes right to my phone. Well, how do you keep those? No, this was years and years ago. And um, when there were yeah, physical the... tickets. Well, yeah, I know. They used to, they yeah. don't we, do that still, we still get physical tickets and keep some of them. And even the yeah. printout ones, I print out. And, and really? Because I haven't the, gotten a physical one in years. In the living room on this, the black box, there's a Dropbox thing. Mm-hmm. That's where all they have all gone. I would say the, the last like two years, we don't have... Actually, that's not true. I have some. Wind Creek still gives the hard tickets. I do have mm-hmm. some tickets. Mm-hmm. Most of them are on our phones. But I have ticket stubs from, I think I started saving them in. Early 90s. I, I believe I have them back to like 99 when Poison started coming back around. Or a- even before. No, I don't think I have anything before that. Oh, you don't? You don't have the Bon Jovi concert? From 93? You must. You've got to. Uh, no, I don't think I have it. <gasps> you. 1993. It was, it was actually 92. 1992. It was New Year's Eve. It was New Year's Eve, right. 92 and then 93. Mm-hmm. Stabler Arena, Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> we partied like rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> I was in elementary school. I was still in grade school. babies. You were... <laughs> <laughs> Elementary school in '93. <laughs> right. I mean, it's good. Here, I'll, I'll, go, I'll crush it even more. <laughs> I think I was '93. Eight. No, hold on. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> this takes I do too not long. So <laughs> ridiculous. What was are. I? Second, third grade. <laughs> wow. Well, when you were in second or third grade, we were at Stable Arena partying with 
Bon Jovi, and mm. they were recording uh, mm. videos for. <laughs> Look at you! Two of their <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> They were recording videos for two of their songs. Uh, You're on the video. Yeah. Roses mm-hmm. and I know. And you can't see me because arms. I'm too damn short. And you can't see Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm standing right in front Husband, of them. Husband, how Despite old were you? Despite the fact that... I think I was like a freshman or I mean eighth grade, one of the two. He was in eighth grade. Uh, I was Listening that? to the doors. Oh, I wasn't listening to the doors yet, but... In, by fifth grade, you yeah, had 90, me. <laughs> ninety two, that was the doors were huge in ninety two. They their their resurgence came after after did we, Val Kilmer did his. Did, uh, oh cameo well, on. he did a really good job playing. Jim uh, Morrison. I know you yeah. don't like the doors, but you know what? So um, I actually have seen that movie and um, Oliver Stone and Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer did, did do a fantastic the job. The band playing. couldn't tell him apart from Jim Morrison when singing the songs. Yeah, That's did, pretty, did pretty he fucking did impressive. Um, so the Bon Jovi thing, back to that. Um, we already talked about it. GS did not make oh. the videos, despite the fact that... <laughs> I was standing right in front much, of you. Not only was she standing in front of me, like, Probably a quarter of the concert, I think I had her on my shoulders, <laughs> and she still didn't make the, the cut for the the You're videos. So hard to... <laughs> yeah, she was. Saw Rick's face. She wasn't happy. Were you on the video? Rock and roll, uh, Ricky. Yes. It's oh, in the God. Bed of Roses video. It's, you don't remember it's this? Really I remember quick. the video, but I don't know. He made was, us sit down yeah. here while we. Rewind it and fast forward through seen. all the video pieces yeah. till we it's found It's really the clip. hard to find, but you, if yeah. you, you can find it. Um, you really don't remember? And there were he was laid down in a bed of roses <laughs> at this show. <laughs> really? I mean, there were there were cameras everywhere. They had mm-hmm. cameras on arms that like swung out over the crowd. Yeah. And they still didn't catch. <laughs> <us>. <laughs> Actually, they, I mean, I'm sure they did. They just didn't choose Use that. that. Shot. Shot for Apparently, the, it wasn't pretty enough. The, <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, you had the '80s hair, and I did, and I had the the thingy on the tube top, yeah, yeah, tube yeah. top, and yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm not sure what happened there, but yeah, they didn't choose to be. <laughs> and they've never released, like they had all these cameras there, but they've never released that as like a concert mm-hmm. video, <gasps> like DVD or anything like that. They just yeah. wanted the footage. I've tried to get bootleg versions of it, but I can't find it. Nobody has it. You gotta know somebody. Who knows somebody? Well, I did, and <laughs> I didn't know your contacts. Like I did that. know a guy that I tried. To, he tried to get it, but couldn't, and then he was arrested for bootlegging. <laughs> and ended up in jail. And I actually think he might still be in jail because oh, he was like a serious bootlegger. Um, we know somebody who got a bootlegger. No, and I think he might still be in jail. Mm. Didn't one of your friends get in trouble for that? Not that I know of. His name was Jeff, and bootlegging. <laughs> bootlegging Sorry. is uh, bootlegging pretty serious Jeff. when you when you do. Yeah, it's it can be. I mean, there's the warning right in the front of every movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a serious um, event. He was all about music, so I mean, any band that you could think of, he had bootleg copies of concerts and, um, like for instance, the when Kiss did the Unplugged series, mm-hmm. um, on MTV, there's a version that came out that they released. But then there's a bootleg version, and it shows literally everything, like all of the mistakes. Because there's a bunch of songs they did like four times. Mm. Wait, they made mistakes? Mm. They're not perfect. Oh, yeah. They made mistakes, and <laughs> they would start the song over. There's a bunch of songs that they tried to do that didn't make it. Um, I, We're that, talking about Joe Satriani here. He doesn't like to be interrupted. So that guy, <laughs> that guy Jeff, knew some, knew somebody that was in the camera crew and got the full version of it. And then, like, I have a copy of it. Like, he sold it. And but that guy started. couldn't hook you up for Guns N' Roses, so. No, Bon Jovi. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's all the same to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Bon wow. Jovi and Guns N' Roses? Yes, it's the all the same thing? to me. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, actually, it's not. I mean, is. Bon Jovi actually discovered Guns N' Roses, but okay. A hundred percent different. Like <laughs> how you feel totally about grunge music? Roses started riots. Bon Jovi started how I feel love affairs. Be like if I said Sublime was the same thing <gasps> as. As what? Uh, Three Eleven. Don't. Yeah, there you go. Three Eleven. I mean, that's a pretty. I mean, it's good, not. Good but it's a good I could see how you could say something like that if you're uneducated. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, this wow. Is, I could but say the were... same thing. I'm not saying it's say... any different. I, I said it's the exact same. How you feel about '90s and grunge and all of the that type of stuff is. You could say. I didn't mean to say to said anything bon off. I just and misspoke. Guns N' Roses are the same thing if you're uneducated. <laughs> You could say that. Absolutely, I'm uneducated. Oh, they Educate both had keyboards. Me. Get me I'm, interested in it. Get me to want to know the difference. I'm pretty sure that's what we've been trying to do I know, since it's this starting. Well, working. here's the difference. Uh, Guns N' Roses came out with a double album. Two albums at the same time. I don't think Bon Jovi ever did that. They did not. They did not do that. Bon Jovi never started a riot. True that. Guns N' Roses did. <laughs> That we know of. I don't think Bon Jovi. I don't think they did. Trust me. Did Guns N' Roses get kicked out of like every hotel room ever they were ever in? No, I think you're thinking of like the Who (laughs) or Led Zeppelin. (laughs) Well, that's every like hard rock. Because Keith Keith Moon was an animal. Was he really? Oh my god, he used to tear hotel rooms apart. No. Keith Moon. Oh my god. Yeah, he was off his rocker. That guy was insane. No, he was. Yeah, he was. A lot of bands like that. Your one of your favorite bands, Motley Crue. They. Why do we oh. always talk about Motley Crue? Do you know how many times Motley Crue has come into conversation this week alone? <laughs> oh boy! I know. Ask that one right there. <laughs> every every opportunity opportunity a kid come in because they're a great band. Did you ever read um, is it what Tommy Lee's book? It's really good. Is it really? I think I have it upstairs. I would love life. to borrow it. If, if I have it. So. I'm in the currently reading um, Acid is for Children by It's Flea's book uh, from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yep. So Rick Chad really Smith. loves that. You, see, you can tell when he's interested in something. Smith and he's not. not I was just going to say that you can't read Tommy Lee's book because he doesn't have a book. She's talking about Nikki Six. Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> to be honest with you, what I don't the believe... hell was I think? Yes, I Nikki Six. I don't believe a word Nikki Six says. He is a proven liar. Oh, multiple Ooh. times over. Oh, those are shots fired. No, Please true. elaborate. <laughs> oh, how many times? Your has he said... your how cousin many times is probably said... going to be coming up to murder you in your sleep because she's how many obsessed times with has him. He said that that band is sorry, done, Jill. I'm so sorry. Retiring. Nikki Six does have. A... He's proven He's to not... be a liar. He doesn't Isn't have he a fabric... great. Track, track record, record yes. of telling the truth. Telling, calm down. Telling well, stories calm accurately. down. But Nobody I will does. say that this book Wasn't is accurate to what everybody knows. Oh my God, he was yeah, a he heroin was a addict, yeah, right? He was a smack addict. Absolutely. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to go he's with maybe he's addict. just trying to tell the story from how he remembers. Which is well, not true. Not true, exactly. Yeah, most yeah. dope. I think the biggest problem with him is that when people try to correct him he gets kind of yeah he gets really weird it. yeah yeah think about it it's probably it. defense mechanism because he doesn't too. remember and he doesn't yeah. want to not remember this whole fight he's got with his guitar players what ridiculous. what whole fight tell oh, me you don't know about this i don't mick mars is suing the band oh yeah, oh, yeah i do yeah. i do know about that um i think that there was something recent about that i think uh um i think mick mars actually won part of the lawsuit i don't think the whole thing's over yet but he won some of it i think he's actually getting i think it was the part where because the even to or when he was still in the band they get they all get 25 percent they're like um it's like uh it's like five godfathers yeah or four so when they when he left they tried to i guess change his contract to, to make it like five percent and that was part of the cut. lawsuit but i think he actually won that portion of it so i think he's going to get some money but the rest of it's still going on sounds like what was that 
You what was that, what? Right? What, what? was that? I didn't hear it. Hear that, right? There's some kind of computer. Sound <laughs> oh, like, no, the battery's like, saying in our ear. Plugs not in. Right? There's some kind of computer. I'm not, a, I'm not about. Alcohol. Is the battery dying and we're not recording anymore? Oh no no no, we are. It's just that the um, the plug wasn't in right for the computer and it, the battery almost died. But we saved him, so he's okay. You know what we didn't talk about? Is uh oh. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Oh, no. boy. I walked the dog. I Not you. <laughs> we did, okay, we did I don't want to talk the, the sports Bowl. portion. Did you talk Usher? Did you watch Usher? Oh, yeah, we watched mm-hmm. the halftime show. <laughs> the 40-year-old um, guy uh, skating around the ring, the stage. I so to, when I tell you that I have I roller actually, skates on my Amazon wish list, you're not going to buy them for me now? You want to so go skating? I am a huge I'm in my roller. 40s, too, you know. I'm not there. <laughs> Mother trucker, reel that in. I'm actually a huge roller skater. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, own, I know. I own two pairs of my own skates. So I actually thought that that was amazing. The roller skating thing was actually pretty cool because the fact that not one of those people fell down is <laughs> shocking. And like he was on skates, like that. Mm-hmm. I actually thought that was pretty cool. So we did watch the the halftime show, and I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, nice. it was. I got nothing against Usher. I think he's he's a good entertainer. I mean, he's a great dancer. <laughs> Always was. So I don't yeah. remember seeing this. The but roller I, skating thing? No, 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 no. I didn't watch the thing. But either. in part of the halftime show, apparently there were there was a girl or girls. I don't know. I just remember seeing the video on YouTube or whatever I saw it on of like she was like a stripper on a strip pole. Oh. And she fell off the stage. <laughs> Shut up. What? what? There's like video How of did it. I miss this. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I didn't fact that. check this tech guy. Get on it. We need to see the stripper falling we, off the stripping pole. We missed that. How did we that. you know what it was? We were so distracted by the roller skates. <laughs> I think, skating, yeah, thing, that I, was really, I really cool. think that yeah. like, it just kind of happened in the background and, and nobody, like, nobody really it. noticed. Huh. All right. Oh. But I thought the half time show was good. He was good. Um, I thought Alicia Keys was really good. Even though people are, I, I don't know, there's like some, they're shit talking her because at, one, because at one point when she first started out, like her voice cracked a little bit and oh, people Jesus. are like giving her shit about it. I thought she sounded fantastic. She sounds great. Yes. See, it's right there. Yeah, there is a there, there is. We yep. do have video. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Yeah. Yes. Save yeah. that for me for later. We'll throw a picture on the <laughs> of a stripper apparently falling off the pole. Well, yeah, so I, you know, uh, husband, that's how my skill set goes on those poles. <laughs> um, oh, he's on TikTok already. Oh, it was a dude. No, no, the Usher's on TikTok. Yeah, the video of it was on... That's where I saw it. I saw it on TikTok. Yeah. I mean... But the game was pretty good, too, though. Um, Although I was really kind of hoping that... Who won? uh, Kansas City won, but I was hoping (laughs) that the 49ers... Did I? (laughs) Come on, it's all fixed. You know that. I was hoping the 49ers won, but they didn't. But they did play a good game. You just want a Taylor Swift's boyfriend to lose. No. I'm just kidding. I mean, we just wanted the 49ers to win. Well, honestly, apparently, that might be part of it because I'm really and I and I said sick this of hearing on, about her. I said this on one of our other pot, our, our other episodes that I'm tired of. Be careful! They're going to attack Swift. you. The Swifties are attack fierce. Me as much as they want. What's there is name? no reason for her to be on. The camera. I think she. Agrees. That's not her so fault. I was times. gonna say. I think she agrees. Did you not see what she was doing every time they put her on camera? She was doing the drinking game. Every time they put her on it's camera, ridiculous. she would just start chugging until the oh, camera. Went she off. must have been drunk. <laughs> I don't think she wants. I mean, not that she doesn't want it, but I don't think it's her choice. No, what about, it was. What about Travis's anger 
problem. Oh gosh. Yeah, we gotta discuss that. What anger problem? He was yeah. passionate oh, on the field. He was drunk. Is no, 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 on the field. At, he was we don't even coach. know what we're talking about. Shut up. Coach <laughs> 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 You're really telling me to shut up. What if he starts, what if he starts screaming at Taylor it? like that? Hold on, time oh. out. I don't know the anger thing. The he only got, clip I saw was there was some so. celebration He got pulled out clip. of the game. Oh, I'll put it up. And and I'm somebody sure and another rookie ish player was put in and he did not pissed. make the play yeah. and Travis threw a fit in front of Andy Reid, to which point and Andy like <laughs> almost fell over from Travis's This guy's an old man. Tyrant. He like yelled at Andy Reid and then kinda well, I guess when he kinda turned he, he like, elbow bumped checked him too. And, yeah. He yeah, checked him. Oh. He checked him. him. He checked him. <laughs> it was pretty. It well, was, he's not, it was, not, listen, I'm not condoning that behavior, but when you're in the moment, I get yeah, it. Yeah, well, that was the thing. It was, it was. What happens when he starts doing aggressive. that to Taylor? Stop it. He's yeah, not going to Can you do stop? That. It was very. Know? Listen, listen it's I a thought different of that in too. the moment. I thought of that too, but then yeah, after listen, I we saw have to this. protect our Taylor. Oh, I, please edit that out. <laughs> Why? Because I dropped your middle name. It was aggressive, oh, but in when you're in a, I mean, you're, in the you're playing in the Super Bowl. He was mad because he didn't get put the in the game. Play no, got, that's not the why play, he was mad. The, the person play that was in got messed up. And listen, he feels that he could have. He done should have done a better job. No, I mean, listen again. I'm not con- condoning the behavior, but I can tell you from experience in the moment, it's different. It's, yeah, it's different than. Uh, how I was on the basketball court is nothing like how I am at, with you at home. So now people are online, like they're bashing him. However, there are, there's also pictures like after the game Maybe a and like bit. he's, him and Han- Andy Rieger hugging and. Well, yeah. So, yeah. My reconciled. He should have, I mean, he should probably apologize the, for the, the, coach uh, covers the shoulder for check. Sure sure well, we know that, did. we it's know. we blown we, away out of proportion. That's the Since problem. he covered. All right, listen, to go, like to go drastic and blow even more out of proportion, we know that coaches will cover for sports people. Mm-hmm. We've proven that with Penn State. Oh, yes. However. Yeah. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I will say. When you're in the heat of the game, heat of the moment, it's a little bit yeah. different. It's not something that transpires to your relationship usually. Can it? Yes. But human nature. Do I think he yeah. probably owes Mr. Reed an apology? I call him Mr. Reed. I'm sure yes. he already ap- I'm sure yeah. he but apologized him then. It was in the same aspect. That's online, between them. it was blown way out of force. Well, let's go back to the, the fact. The coach looked like a jackass to the whole world. Because he was checked and he couldn't do anything about it. <sighs> But that's, well, that no. Happens. What would you have expected him to do? Well, he couldn't do anything because he's an old guy in this big football player. No, that's just not true. Him. And, and you, you could don't have reacted. Know the guy that's, that's I was supposed just to, to say, be the guy you in don't know what happened now, behind the scenes. Hold on. Scene. Well, that's he, the point, though. You don't know what happens behind. You well, only see what you see on the camera. Yeah, but and he kept his composure, see. as he should have, as, as a professional. Yeah, as a coach. He led by the example. And he did. He did a good job of that. But what does that make him look like? Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just bl- on- online. Yeah, it was this is the a, you it can't ever win. It's never winning. It's a full circle. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we did. Well, <laughs> I'm out of alcohol. Uh, GS did not watch the entire Super Bowl. I watched the whole thing. I watched none of it. The end oh. was very disappointing when <clears throat> the Chiefs threw a winning touchdown and. Whatever. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> well, I'm really not that cranked up about it because it wasn't the Eagles. It wasn't the Eagles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if, they, if the Eagles were in the Super Bowl and they were lost, then I'd be. To me, it's like up. professional wrestling. All right. <laughs> tech guy, stick to it's the It's all predetermined. It's just. <laughs> well, the good he thing is. The other good that... thing is that. <clears throat> Well, and if you're going to say about the logo thing what like, logo? that was mm-hmm. proven. Mm-hmm. That, what are you talking about? So, because the logo was a certain color, so, which would have been the. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so, this year's logo was purple and red. Yeah. And so that would have meant that it would have been, come down to the Ravens and the 49ers, which it did no, not. The Ravens and the Chiefs. Whatever. Um, 
Two years prior, the last two years, the colors determined what the team... Well, it so happened to be that the colors of the teams wore the colors of the, the Super Bowl logo. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So it was all over the internet that it, like it was going to be theory. the Ravens mm-hmm. and the Chiefs. Oh, I love it. Conspiracy theory. It wasn't the Ravens. <laughs> I do not like <laughs> because there's always a, good, a little bit of truth. It's not. It's yes, there is. Radical. There is a little bit of truth oh. in every conspiracy theory that'll be saved for next episode. Yeah. Because we will can, it though? Because I don't oh. think we're talking about. Especially this when I will a lot absolutely of money involved. get you engaged in conspiracy theories without you even realizing. I got so many that but I that's know not about. Doesn't get you that far because I don't believe in any of them. So. So you really the think that there was only oh, one God, shooter that started. killed John F. Kennedy? Can oh, you hear stop me? it! <laughs> All right, first of all, I'm interested. Time out. If we're Come gonna on. rip that bandaid off, we gotta ease him into it. We've gotta trick him into believing he's not in the conspiracy well, theory. Okay, people that think there's only one shooter. And that's not the first one to start with. <laughs> okay. there, There's no Band-Aid that you're ripping off. I don't know if there was more than one shooter for JFK. It was aliens. And quite honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of impossible. I mean, I wasn't it. even alive. I don't really <laughs> care. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry the dude was shot, but... In the head, right it's, in front of his face. Okay. It's <laughs> over. I mean, like, that's pretty brutal. Oh my I mean, God. look, again, and I'm it very been our own sorry. Government. I'm sorry that that happened to him, <laughs> but I am too. I mean, does it matter how many shooters there were? Well, it does in the grand scheme of things when the government lies. Do you remember when we used to start the IHE episodes with Come Get Drunk With Us? (laughs) Come Get Drunk With Us. It really doesn't. It's like a family. Can you stop? (laughs) So, any. uh, No, we're done. (laughs) Any conspiracy theory that you bring up, you're not. You're not ripping off any band aids. I really don't care. And I'm not personal challenge accepted. Yeah. yeah, well, you can bring stuff up, but it's not going to get. Yeah, you I reckon far. I are in the same boat. We're. Yeah. It's not going to get the conversation is not going to go that far because in the end it's going to end the same way. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. And it's over with. He yeah. went right into the political conspiracy theories. Well, I like really weirder political shit. Conspiracy. <laughs> I, mean, weirder I mean, there's shit. politics obviously involved, but you can do there's much shit. more involved in that one. I don't care about weirder, <clears throat> the weirder ones either. Like the aliens? No, see, we already know he That's doesn't. That's kind of weird. We already talked about it. We already it. talked about that one. We talked about it. There's alien. nothing <laughs> out there. It's just so vast. We talked about it. Yeah. They found another exoplanet. Did they find one? See? Probably found another uh, grainy video of a, <laughs> of a UFO flying by. Too. Nobody can get a clear video. I just want you to know. <laughs> if anything ever happens to me, I am haunting the fuck out of both of you. Just so you know. And you will know it is me. You right. will absolutely know. Well, I mean, that's. You'll be other... waking up, your freaking phone will be blasting sublime in the middle of the night. That's the other thing. Oh, I, don't, I, I don't started believe reading ghosts, that book so. that you gave me. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. What book is that? You that saying that reminded me of that book. Sublime? No. Okay. <laughs> that would be great, what though. <laughs> what book are we talking about? <laughs> Signs. The book is called Signs, and no, it's not the signs, signs everywhere. Yeah. Signs, fucking up the scenery. Something, something, something. Damn it! <laughs> Blocking my mind. That's what I was going to do. Say, this. But I didn't Don't think it was right. That. Can't you read the sign? <laughs> As Tesla's playing in the background. So is that, but the same book that there, I think there was a movie, wasn't there called Signs? Okay, the but movie the, is around aliens. Yeah. The book that I gave yeah. your wife is not It's about completely aliens. different. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What's it about? <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Um, right. We'll save that for next time. Uh, wow. Really? That was... A way to end it? It was pretty good. I mean, I would have let that shit <laughs> roll. I mean, if you're going to burp on the podcast, let, let it go. <laughs> Really let it rip. Are we out of time, or is that where we're at? Or? We're, yeah, it's nine o'clock. Yeah. Oh God, is that late? Okay, now you just showed your age. 
Shown, shown your age? All I said was I didn't realize she was that late. Nine o'clock is not late <laughs> no, to No, that's young not people. late for Rick at all. That's not late for me. No. It's late for that's GS. It's late for me. <laughs> it's, past, it's past GS's bedtime. Behind right? the camera, it's late for me. Uh, 6 a.m. usually. Six, that's not too much earlier than we get up. Mm-hmm. What do you mean we? I'm up before you, yeah, usually. Up, yeah, but you stay up late then, too. Not always. Mm. Sometimes. Sometimes. Depends. For the record, everybody's up before I am. <laughs> yeah. And I'm out of the house before because... he's even out of bed. Wow. Let's go to the bacon guys, strip tomorrow. Happy. Let's all go to bacon I'm strip sorry? tomorrow. What? Let's I go to the to bacon work. strip tomorrow. Mm, we could do that. The honest to God's truth is that nobody, in my mind, no, should be up me. That's a great before... song. Do you ever hear that song? Nobody, Nobody by Tony be, Rich Project. Should be. I think it's by. Could you look and see if it's by Keith Sweat or Tony o'clock. Rich Project? <laughs> what? I like how you keep trying about? to get that out, Rick. Because <laughs> yeah, like, I hate when people talk. Cut him off. Me and oh man! Oh, that every morning really I, I get up <laughs> at six a.m. He's like, "It's too early to be up." Why are early. you up so early? I'm like, it's um, I have to go to work. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> should be up before. Nobody knows it but me. Who sings that? Keith Sweat. Nobody knows it. I will tell you, there is never a morning that I leave this house that he is not still in bed. Never. Baby face. No, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's like nobody knows it but me, and it's his baby nobody face. Nobody knows it but me. And my, baby my face shifts not vary. Baby face. Not my shifts vary, but my days vary. Like, I'm in a different location every day, so. Your time travel. F- yeah. Yeah, takes different. Yeah. The days I work from home, I wake up, and I'm up early. And I work early, but the days that I'm in an office, I'm still up early, but I don't leave the house until anywhere between 8.30 and 10. Oh, my God. Well, it takes her five hours to get ready in the morning. Well, it's not and getting it's... ready. I get ready perfectly on time. It's getting the motivation to leave my house and enter what I need to my enter. My day starts at 8 a.m. Well, the days that I <laughs> work from home and go into the office... It don't fucking matter. I get up at the same time. <laughs> I get up at the same time every day. It's getting out of the house. And it's usually after 8 a.m. I don't know what that's like. Well, even at, mean, even days that I don't have to set the alarm, my body will not let me sleep in the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that sounds like something I would never want to experience. Yeah, he does not ex- he does not know what that is <laughs> at <laughs> all. I am. I sleep quite well and... What's that like? Yeah. What there's, is that like to be able to turn no off your brain to sleep? There's no reason to be up at any Nobody wakes you up in the middle of the night, hour. every night? Nope. That, she didn't come in last night. <laughs> Nobody He's not talking me. about me. No, no, that's one night out of the last two weeks. The only time Aww. I'm wo- the only time I'm woken yeah, up in the middle of the night is if I'm snoring and Gina will... Not oh, you. I do that Not to him to too. You know what I have to do to over. him though when I when I do wake him up, I have she, I, like, takes I, my nose and like No, I do not, you <laughs> fucking liar. I have to pretend you take that a I pillow, <laughs> over, <laughs> pillow over his All of a sudden I'm like, I We were talking breathe. life insurance earlier, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about life insurance. Remember, you know he has to die thing. at work for it to be double. You know that pillow thing, they can't prove that you did that. Oh that yes, they true. can. It's suffocation, they can prove that. But, he just he just died in his sleep. You were sleeping. Nobody knows. Somebody my dad he suffocated. My dad <laughs> tells my mom all the time. He said when it gets to that point for him to be in an old folks home, just put the yeah. pillow over him. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go to prison for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, when he snores and I have to wake him up, I <clears throat> I kick him to wake him up, and then I pretend to be asleep. So like it wasn't me. Like maybe sometimes he startled oh, no, himself I away. I push no, no, Rick Gina right over. No, oh, he gets so crabby. I won't do that. He's no. so mean. Well, that's the only way I can Are get him yawning? to actually Are wake up. Yes. <laughs> he is dead to the world. When We're boring him. That. When We're I boring fall him. asleep, he wants to go to bed right now. I'm no. over there. <sighs> when I fall asleep, that's it. I'm dead. Done. <laughs> and. I mean, it's like my deep sleeping has, it, like at one point, I think my mother was <clears> slightly <throat> concerned that if there was ever a fire in the house that we grew up in, I'd never wake up. <laughs> How do you release like that? I've slept through <clears throat> our house alarm twice. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't tell you this, but yeah, last week one morning, you weren't making any sounds at all. 
Oh, no, and I literally pulled breathing? the covers back to make sure that you were breathing. Oh, you gotta just put the mirror because you weren't the moving. Under the nose. You weren't. I mean, you were barely breathing. What is it like that's to be able to sleep, let go that think. much? No, to that's sleep called that sleep deep. apnea. But okay. No, did I not have? Did I have my mouth guard in? I don't even remember, man. I just remembered me having to pull the covers back because I needed to make sure you were still alive before I left the house. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> what that she wanted to make sure you were alive? No, that that's she weird. Actually, had to check. I mean, I I literally pulled the covers back and I'm watching your chest. I have a mild case of sleep apnea, but I have a mouth guard that is supposed to help that. And <laughs> I can see it does. No, just it by does. Gina's face. No, Sometimes it definitely it does. does. It does help. But there are times where he spits it out unknowingly. Yeah. I don't think I can And sleep there are times where he is still yeah, able so. to breathe through the mouthpiece where I'm like, oh, no, I need to evacuate. You're supposed to breathe through to, like, it. There's a hole in it. No, you're like. <laughs> what do you do? Like, <laughs> you're breathing through your mouth, like not that. through your nose. Oh. And I'm like, oh, no, I need How'd to leave. Go? I need to get out. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's pretty much it, right? Well, we can end with this. next time. Well, no, let's end with this. Since we were talking about sleeping and we blew up your spot, <laughs> my husband likes to fall asleep in these crazy-ass poses. Oh, yeah. So sometimes <laughs> in the morning I would take pictures and i make a joke, like I'm going to put a calendar together. Because I'm <laughs> like, he'll sleep like this, now, like where he's <laughs> like this. <laughs> And I all these crazy poses. I am going to make a calendar. So for all the, the tech guy fans out there, we'll profit from this and make a tech guy calendar and pose There you go. <laughs> Maybe I, Photoshop I, 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 some I animal this. rugs under there. <laughs> It'll be a good time. Sounds like it makes some money for you. Eh, the maybe. Maybe. Probably crazy, not. Crazy pose sleep calendar. Okay, we're done. Are we? I think so. Are you gonna Are you gonna take this one too, or you want me to do? It? Eh, I don't know. Depends. Are you gonna start talking so I can cut you off? No, I was just gonna do the closing. But All right, well, then you go ahead and do the taken closing. Taking the opening and the yeah, but you critiqued it to we're shit, back so because you don't do it the way we do it. We is you. Okay. Goodbye. No. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> definitely not how well, we're doing it. Thank you for joining us tonight on IHG. So you are doing it. See, <laughs> no, that's not how we do it. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Fuck off. Thump your skull. Good night. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this was IAT in the Kiss Room. I'm Rick. I'm Lara. Good night. <laughs>